Good afternoon, I'm Sharon Coe. First at four, for the first time in 139 years, a Republican will hold the state Senate seat in District 19. Last night, Pete Flores defeated Democrat Pete Gallego in the special election runoff, replacing convicted felon Carlos Uresti. With this victory, Flores will become the first Hispanic Republican to serve in the Texas Senate. And joining me now is Pete Flores from his home in Pleasanton. First off, thank you for inviting us into your home. Congratulations on the win. Thank you all and th uh, thank you for allowing me this opportunity and, uh, and, and welcome to my home here in Pleasanton, Texas. Mr. Flores, let's talk about your legislat legislative priorities first. So what are they for the upcoming legislative session? First and foremost, uh, we, we look forward to working with leadership on some meaningful tax reform. Uh, the, it's uh, something that we've heard uh, from across the, across the district, something that's affect us all, whether you're Republican or Democrat or however you lean. Uh, it, we're all being hit by an un, uh, uh, unsustainable uh, tax increases and uh, we, we definitely need to, to work together to, uh, to do some, uh, some reforms on, on the way our, our properties are appraised and, and uh, the way we pay our property taxes. It's not that we don't want to pay our fair share, we just need it to be fair and equitable and we, we don't believe that it currently is. So your campaign started off grassroots and then you got a financial backing from Lieutenant Governor Patrick. So for those who say that you don't have experience compared to Gallego, who has more than two decades of experience in politics, and you won because of that, what's your response to that? Well, my response to that is that we, we uh, uh, you know, that Mark Twain once said that there are multiple offices, and I'll show you professionally what we are. Uh, we, 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 we have a strong grassroots campaign. Uh, we, we appreciate the help from Governor Patrick and Governor Abbott and a, a number of others uh, in the United Republican Party. But ultimately, it was, it was uh, our strength, our true strength was in the grassroots in all the 17 counties. And, and uh, they, uh, they expressed their voice very loudly last night. Now looking at the results, Bear County felt a little different versus voters statewide. Bear County actually supported Gallego. So what would your message be for those who did not vote for you? Well, we, we, are, we are here to provide representation to everyone uh, in all the 17 counties. Uh, it's, uh, it, it, you know, we, it's, it's something that's been badly needed. And to provide for all of our constituents, whether you're in Sanderson, Texas, and on the Mexican border, or whether you're in large San Antonio, you will all be represented uh, uh, with, with efficiency and with integrity, and, and I look forward to working for you in the Texas Senate. So the issues that are very important to you, do you think that that message and your overall message resonated more with the citizens of District 19 than Pete Gallego had? Yes, we do. Uh, but this district is uh, as Texas is, but uh, this Southwest Texas is uh, generally very conservative, uh, and uh, and our our, con uh, our conservative positions uh, reflect what most of the population. And uh, and again, that was reflected last night. 